What's good, everybody? Welcome back. So today, we're going to be painting some interior parts. But, before I can paint them, i got to get them out of the car. So, I'll go ahead and get inside and knock that out. Now, before you ask, I know I said I was painting these black. Well, they're already black, but they are wrapped in vinyl. Um, one thing I found with the vinyl parts, especially the ones in the center console, is that they are really hard to keep clean. Um, any little bit of dust or finger oils or anything gets on these, and you gotta scrub the piss out of them to get them clean. And I'm just not a fan of that. So. I threw the gloss black on here as a temporary fix just to see if it, would, if it was something that I was going to like on the center console of the car. Clearly, since I'm going to paint these things, I like the look. So I'm going to get these uh, stripped of the vinyl and show you what these parts are uh, underneath because these are not the parts that came in the premium when I bought it. So let me go ahead and get these stripped and then I'll bring you back to it. All right, so as you can see, uh, this is what came in the car, at least in mine. I know some of you guys are gonna have the wood grain stuff already in your car, which is cool. Um, you know, I have no qualms with the wood grain or this chicken pox looking fake carbon they tried to throw in here. Um, but like I said, everything I've done to this car so far, I've been a I'm able to take off if I ever wanna trade the car back in. With these, I wanted to make sure that I kept these original in the event I needed to swap everything back out that I could so I again you know, went to my go-to spot went to eBay and I bought a whole set of center console trim and wood um, these cost me about maybe 105 bucks for all three pieces um, now in the long scheme of things yeah that was a little bit more than I would have liked to have paid but I can paint these worry-free and have no qualms with trading the car back in. I can sell these pieces, put my originals back in, and I'm good to go. So to me, it's kind of worth it. Besides, wrapping this in vinyl, I'm sure many of you already know, the texture is very visible through it, and painting this is not going to work out. Now you could have you could send this stuff off and have it wrapped in carbon if that's your thing. Um, I do plan on wrapping some stuff in carbon, but it's not these center pieces. I have other plans for other parts in carbon, so these are going to be black. Now because I'm adding paint to these, I'm adding mills of paint to the original parts, which means I'm going to need to sand down the original parts quite a bit. So when I go to slide these pieces back in the factory spots they're not rubbing on any of the leather surround and they fit in there the way they're supposed to. So I'm gonna get some sandpaper out, I'm gonna sand these down pretty well, get them smoothed out again, and then hit them with, hit them with a primer sealer and get the painting process started. So uh, I figure that's enough talking. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, hop into it. So I got all the panels prepped. They're all taped off, as you can see. Anything I didn't want to get paint on, I taped off with painter's tape. Nice and neat across all three pieces. So now what I'm gonna do, 
I've already wiped it off with wax and tar remover. I'm gonna go ahead and finish it up with isopropyl alcohol. And then I'll put down a layer of primer sealer on all three. And then once the primer is down, I'll wet sand the primer, get it smooth again, hit it with the gloss protective enamel from Rust-Oleum, and then finish it off with the 2K Clear Glamour. Now I usually wouldn't buy 2K Clear to do three pieces like this, but I have a carbon fiber part that was never cleared that I put on the car without thinking, and it's starting to get messed up from the sun. So I'm gonna take that piece off and clear that as well, so I'm not wasting the whole can on three parts. So with that said, I'm gonna go ahead and clean these off and get the primer sealer laid down. So now that the uh, primer's dry, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna wet sand these with 400 grit sandpaper. Um, inside the sandpaper, I got a soft block. So that way, when I press into the object or the, the piece, I'm not putting pressure points down using my fingertips, and I'm able to conform to all the smooth round curves and edges without digging too deep into the actual panel. Um, ideally, when you're sanding primer, to prep for base coat, you wanna sand, I believe, it's between 400 to 600 uh, grit. So I got, a pair, I got a piece of 400 on here now. I'm gonna go ahead and just smooth this out, stop, make it nice and soft, and then I'll clean them, sanitize them, and then get them ready for base coat. So I underestimated the uh, power of that turbo can. Um, two issues that I know I made that I need to correct now. Issue one being I only need to spray one of these pieces on the table at a time. Um, the power of that can kicks up a lot of dust and it's obvious in some of the pieces, and well in all the pieces actually, of that fact. Um, another thing that I should have done that I didn't do was blow off the pieces with air duster to make sure that there wasn't any lint. Uh, this one took the brew of the lint issue. You can see them right in there, right in there, and right in there. So the finish is gonna, is gonna turn out beautiful. It's gonna be, they're gonna be beautiful parts, but in their current condition, that's eh, not good enough for me. So I'm gonna let these dry overnight. I'll wet sand them tomorrow, knock out all these imperfections, get the lint out, wipe them back down, so it's uh, 8 p.m. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, stop here and I'll pick back up on this tomorrow. So I went with a thousand grit. I sanded all three pieces down. You can see it leveled everything out nice and neat, nice and easy, exactly what I wanted it to do. So these two pieces, they need to be cleaned with acetone and or isopropyl alcohol still. I'm using isopropyl alcohol in this instance. And the third piece, I went ahead and already finished. So I cleaned it and resprayed it, and as I predicted yesterday, it turned out amazing. Um, the gloss and shine is way better than the factory piano black pieces that are installed in the car. And to get the finish, I went and bought a smaller can of the same turbo paint, so that way I had a little more control, and I didn't have that 10 inch wide fan to deal with, with all that back pressure. Now, if you're painting a large panel, like a fender, a hood, diffuser, side splitters, anything like that, by all means, get this turbo can. It'll completely cover the area in two passes easy. 
But for these small pieces, like stuff like this, go with the small can. It's easier to manage and just overall, it's just a better option. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, finish cleaning these two pieces off and I will get them sprayed so they look like this one. And I will bring you back when all three pieces are nice and shiny. And then we'll go from there. Base coat's done. Go ahead and come in on all three. So you can see the shine across these pieces. Now what I gotta do is wait about 15 minutes and then I'll coat them in clear and let them dry for the night. So I'll see you in a little bit. Well, after three coats of 2K Clear, the pieces are done. I'm gonna let them sit overnight to dry. And when I come back out in the morning, I'll check them, see if they heard any dust nibs or any particles in the clear coat that need to be lightly sanded and buffed out. If there aren't, when these are completely dry, I'll peel the tape off and reinstall them. So, as you can see, I already peeled the tape off. They are clean, and from my initial assessment, there's actually very, very minimal debris and dust in it whatsoever. The shine and the gloss is great are across all three pieces. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get these reassembled and get them put back in the car, because uh, they're ready to go. So I'm gonna get these pieces put together and there we go. So let's go put them in the car. So as you saw in the video, you can take some patience and some basic steps and you can paint your interior trim to any color you want whether it be color matched, uh, piano black, or a custom color. Now, just to reiterate, you have to start with the wood grain trim. If you start with the original trim like I had in the car previously, unless you plan on putting extra time in to smooth those pieces out by using resin or fiberglass or some type of filler, you're not gonna get the same result that you saw in the video. If you like what you saw and you enjoy the content, make sure you hit the subscribe button Hit the bell notification so you can be notified of any new videos that come out, and I will get started on the next project. So with that said, I'll see you in the next one.